My name is Philip Dickinson. I'm 45 years old. Uh, up until the end of last year, I worked as a uh, mechanical engineer. My name is Chloe, and a little bit about myself. Um, I am a mum um, to a son, Riley, who's six, and also um, a wife to my husband, Phil. We have been together 11 years, married seven years. We met at the swimming pool. Um, and I was uh, getting out of the pool to end my session and she was just getting into the pool to start her session. And she doesn't remember this but um, I plucked up with the courage to say an awkward hi, how are you doing? And she gave back a, bu a bubbly hi and I thought uh, I, um, I'd like to get to know her a bit more. So it was sort of pool based, but what I didn't realise is that actually Phil had an extensive background in uh, swimming as well, but more endurance swimming, like marathon swimming, longer distances. Difference, but that swimming brought us together. Love the water, but it was only once I got to New Zealand that I, I went further out of the swimming pools and went to the ocean. I guess a few years and I thought uh, I couldn't carry on, otherwise I had to, had to do something about it, I had to put a ring on it. I was diagnosed with MSA about five years ago. I've been having various symptoms for a few years prior, but what made me go and see the doctor in the first place was the fact that I was getting quite dizzy. You know, would walk up a flight of stairs or climb a small hill. So much so that I had to like put my head down between my legs to to steady myself. It wasn't until I saw a neurologist that he pieced together all the other symptoms. He said, look, I believe it would be, from what I can see so far, multiple systems atrophy. N never heard of it. Never heard of it at all. The doctor said it was um, another same umbrella as Parkinson's. I knew a bit about Parkinson's and how people can live with symptoms for years and years. So I just didn't think it was that bad until I started reading about it. MSA and they get the liking it to um, Parkinson's evil cousin, which is, yeah, a lot worse than Parkinson's. Well, initially I felt a bit of relief because it was the cause of a lot of my issues I'd been having. It was the cause of my failing to end my bladder property. It was the cause of acting out my dreams. It was also the cause of waking up in the middle of the night and I had a pool of sweat. And it was also the cause of my dizziness. That, that relief quickly turned to fear and being scared because when you start to read about MSA, it doesn't paint, paint a nice picture. That doesn't affect your mind. I, I still have the, the will to do things. It just It's like my mind's trapped in this body that's failing me. I want to get out of bed in the morning, it feels like I've. I've I'd run a marathon or done something really physical the day before, so all my muscles ache and until I get out of bed and start to move things a bit. Speech, stability, eating, sleeping, um, going to the bathroom, temperature change affects his body because he can't regulate his temperature. They're all just becoming now part of what we have to to deal with. I did my first 10k with him over in Manor and we did a holiday as well and the, the whole family came. He did a lot of competitive racing, mountain biking in his early years, looked after himself, had fun. I think he won three times in a row, like three years consecutive for the 10k over in Manor Island. Mountain biking for, for New Zealand, tour of the South Island, big bike races, like how much he's pushed his body is beyond me. Unfortunately, he got to the point that he couldn't cycle anymore. And hmm, that's hard. And I'm not even the one experiencing these changes. Make the most of your what you can do today. Do the things you can do now. Do it now before it's too late. My neurologist told me that I had a slow progression of the disease. In the last couple of years, it's accelerated. Things 
us then the decline quite rapidly now. I would encourage people to do what they can now to make the most of their mobility while they still have it. If you've got a bucket list, do it. If you go and explore, go and experience, go and make memories because they are actually worth more than gold because that's what we're still trying to do but it comes with limitations ask for help and get help so that you feel supported always think how can i get more help the fundraising event that i'm doing is in may i'm doing a 1k a day in may for msa it's been on my mind for quite a long time to do something i want to raise awareness and talk about it more a fundraiser seems like it gives me a, a purpose. So I do have a Facebook page, Swim for MSA, and I have an Instagram page as well, Swim for MSA. And then I do have a Give a Little page. We've had donations come through already. If I could get that to share as much as I can, so I'm doing my best and then encouraging people to do the same. I choose to fight MSA for those, like my husband, that are less able to, but I'm doing it for him but also for everyone else that needs support. I choose to fight MSA so that it gives me the longest life possible. The longer I can stay alive, it's the more likely to get a cure.